Hello everyone, welcome back to another Happy Man video. Been a couple of days since the last one, I know, it's just um... All the work I've done has been incredibly small and fiddly things. Not worth an episode. But I'm at a point where I can get some stuff done. If you come over here, you can see I've got some plastic bees. Or elastic. They keep changing the name of them on the uh, like forum and stuff. Still got the resinous ones running. And uh, these plastic ones, they produce the oily combs that um, I've been using to power the workshop, which is all great. And they produce them basically twice as fast, and since I've got two of them, I'm now making excess energy from them. I've, I've filled up the oil refinery, I've filled up the things, that's all full up there at the moment, so I need to divert my power somewhere else. I'm thinking about um, putting some honey for a squeezer to do uh, some stuff with that. But, um, as I think, uh, me and Zuljin were having a quick talk and uh, he might be doing biofuel, so I might send him some of the honey for that. But, um, I've still got to work on that. What I've been doing is tree breeding. So if we grab some bone meal, and quickly come in here. Uh, you can see my inventory and stuff is a complete mess, but if you look in here, I've got all these saplings. All these different, like, mundane larch, um, silver lime, you know, we've got loads of them. But today I just managed to get these ones, which are Cherry Hill saplings, which look pretty awesome, which is why I wanted them. And they have a really cool colour of wood. But, um, yeah. Ooh, phone going off. Sort that out. Stop. There we go. So I wanted some of these cherry wood trees um, for a while now. I've got another one somewhere. There it is. Boop. Okay, let's get some of this. And there's like quite a lot you can do with this tree breeding. I just want to get some more of these saplings. I've got a grafter just to make sure I get some. If none drop for me. There we go, we've got one at least. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little farm um, at the spawn. So I'm actually going to do some work at the spawn town today, which is not something I've done yet. Uh, besides going there and using the machines and like people have come a long way of it and what I want to do is basically make a sort of tree farm for all these special trees so people can come harvest them and all that um, going to try and make a Fumium Grafter today as well and put repair on it but I won't do that off the camera because that's just trying to get lucky with a book and experience and all that don't know why these are green and not red, I was hoping they'd have little red things on them. Maybe if I cross pollinate them with some apple trees I'll get that. Okay. So you can see we've got bees popping up everywhere. Um I've got an idea to fix that. But that's gonna take a while. So if we look at my form Nomicon, I've done quite a lot of research now. I've got quite a lot of this stuff all done. And uh it's just a matter of getting the resources now to continue and do the last few things. Um but if you come over here you can see I've researched bees and magic and that lets me get all this stuff where I'll actually be able to make stuff still I haven't got um, this which I want but I can now make the magic frames which um, basically last longer than the normal frames but uh, they use flux and then the meta metabolic frame which um, it will make them work quicker but more chance of mutation which would have been great to have earlier when I was, you know, trying to get all these different types of bees. But for now, I've pretty much got most of the mutations I want, so that's not a big thing. So I'm just going to leave a couple here to um to grow while I'm gone. And we're going to want to take. We're going to leave the saplings here for now, actually. And we're going to want to take a lot of wood with me. So I want these different woods. And we're going to head back to spawn. And we're going to set up um. We're gonna find some of the setup basically. But first I wanna show you um a little bit of the work that's been going on off camera. Nicosi's finished the uh sort of I'm good I'm calling it a foom UFO because <laughs> it's just like that. It looks pretty cool though. And uh I made a load of red stained glass for it. So we've got our research room obviously, and um I've been doing stuff in here, so I just chest full of stuff. And this is gonna be the proper foom production room. So you can see I've already made a couple of um, the arcane work benches, whatever they are, the crucible there. Gonna have the little vial set up around here to contain all the essentia, which I think will look quite good. 
just a matter of getting the materials to do that at the moment. Um, I went on a massive hunt for um, silverwoods. I got a couple of saplings. I want to ex build an extension tower off one of the sides that's going to have a load of those in or something like that just to have another aura thing. So that's something uh, we've been working on. Next, um, this still needs a roof. This still needs a roof. I've got to, I've got to think about doing that soon. If we head over to the workshop. Uh, as you can see, this is still working fine. There we go. We've got some water going in there. Um, I've added a couple of things just to deal with the excess stuff that may come through. But as you can see, this is full. This is full. This is full. And this is nearly full. So my mm, that's gotten quite full as well. <laughs> uh, I'm having a bit of trouble with that. Uh, is that I need to use the power somewhere else before it gets clogged up. Uh, as you can see here, the honey wax is always also full. The beeswax, sorry. So I've got to work out what to do. Um, these are the only two that are getting full at a decent rate. So I've just got to work out what to do with those. I've got quite a bit of honeydew. See, we've got some rubber now. We've got um, tin. So everything's being produced at quite a nice rate. Uh, that's centrifuge. Oh, what I need is a second squeezer for some honey, I think. But we'll work on that later. Today we want to go do some work at base. And if we come down here, this is Nkozi's uh, minecart room. He's working on making um, Steve carts and all that. I have no idea what's going on. But I left him some um, the refractory capsules to move this creosote oil around if he needs it. And this is the room I've been working on off camera. So this is going to be a, uh, a secondary ore processing room. <coughs> so you'll put um, ores into one chest. They come out of the other chest via um, what I'm thinking is send it through here, it'll go through, go into a macerator if it needs to, or if not, go straight through, and then come around, drop into one of these. Actually, I'll send it through here. Yeah, I'll send it so you can put it in either side, and then it can share the load. Go through macerators on either side, go through, um, pop in the top of these, which are the infernal furnaces with foom craft. If you didn't see my um me making them with uh on Cozycraft server. They're basically a free way of smelting and you can even get bonus stuff like nuggets, like you can get gold nuggets from smelting gold. Uh it uses viz in the magic and sometimes releases flux when using it. So that's a small issue, but eventually I can research what's called arcane bellows and that will increase the speed and reduce the flux we get from them. Which would be very good. So the items will get popped in the top. It will spit it out the front, and then I'll probably put some like obsidian pipe here or something, and then put it in a chest there or something. I think it'll look quite good. Um, that's mostly an off-camera thing at the moment. I'll get back to that when I'm done. But yeah, uh, the workshop's coming along quite nice. Uh, I got that in a desert temple when I was out exploring. Okay. So apart from that. Um, just basically been a lot of fiddly little things. Uh, so right, let's head back to spawn and we can choose somewhere to set up. Hopefully, due to the fact that it's night, it won't be too bad. Uh, what someone's done is added these awesome little displays behind the, well, most of the portals, which now looks pretty cool. So if we bring out the map and we zoom out, we'll be able to see roughly where everything is. So if we go here, we have the um, central processing unit, which is where um, which is where I used to do all the sort of. Uh, let's just go inside. Here you go. You got two stations. You can extract, compress. You know. I like how you got station A and station one. There's no station B. This is a charging station. I think you stand on it. And it just charges everything. So this place is pretty cool now, really. What's that? I like these lights. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, this place is quite cool. I'm not sure who's done it, though. House MJ is still here. Um, I'll probably make some stained glass to do my arboretum, whatever I'm going to call it, or it should be called. So this is still in the works. Um, there was some plots somewhere or something. Ah, is that it? I think this might be it. There's a notice board. 
it's been changed so this is going to be a market basically yeah it's pretty cool if I go to the market feel free to set up a shop or look around and maybe buy something craft bench made this then so he's got um his own stuff wanted ink in clay box even chests someone's already done that I see uh, what else we got take a button write complaint or questions if you try and read your book quickly oh I will try you've put quite a value or complaint here it's good <coughs> what's this will work for marble blocks <laughs> Zuljin okay I've my market headed by craft bench that's quite cool it's a bit small but um who's future market so I might set up um, one here to sell some bees or something actually or the honey what's this reserved for future market growth okay um so I've got to work out where I want to put this tree farm so what's this stuff <clears throat> excuse me I'm not sure what these are oh this is a cactus farm this is probably for uh, pipe waterproofing then this just appears to be a small little house problem is I need quite a large area for mine what I'm going to build, there's iron over there so let's have a look so we've got the rubber trees there what if I build it there's an odd line of trees there what if I deforest that section and put it there yeah if I um, I put it down here it's sort of a bit out of the way obviously we'll be selling trees and there's already trees here so so I will deforest this and set up a ooh, hello there we go and uh, for people who are familiar with the power armor, my power tool, which is this hand, um, doesn't have the sword upgrade, so it doesn't work as a weapon yet. For people who aren't familiar with um, the power armor, this is a power tool, power tool, and it works as basically every thing if you install the right modules in it. So that's why I'm using it to chop down everything. So it's just one tool for everything. Okay, so this is going to take me quite a while, so I'm going to cut back once I get set up. Um, hopefully I can get it done today, if not, um, you'll be seeing this video a bit late, because obviously I have work today. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, and yeah, we'll get this done. Okay guys, we've managed to clear up a bit of the area, still got a few leaves hanging around. And um, I've cleared enough just so you can get a start and feel on what I'm going to do. Because I want to get it started at least today. I don't think I'm going to get it finished with um, working all later. But I want to get to a point where you can see what I have planned. So I built this little bridge that will just come off the main road. I'm going to put some of these little sticks on uh, either side here. <coughs> and eventually this is going to have stained glass running through it as well. Uh, for now I'm just going to do that sort of thing these are a bit odd to place they don't work quite like the normal ones do and I'll have an entrance way made of wood there so then you'll come inside there'll be a little pathway um, let's see what blocks I've got that I can use for a pathway for now uh, let's just stick with the stone bricks then okay so you'll have a little pathway so this is quite a good tool probably come out like this because I wanted to keep it mostly green you'll have a little pathway like so, let's get the dirt on my hotbar okay. and then um, you have it going up these little rows and these rows are going to be say <coughs> so if we have one here actually I'm not going to have one there we've got one further so we have one, two yeah I cannot, excuse me one second, hmm, sorry I had to clear my throat, it sounds a lot better now I guess, but um, if we do that we got four, um, I need it to be an odd number as a problem, we got this even, we'll have this front one, little here, just be a little display or something, from there it will come out a bit more and we'll um, get into the proper thing. So this is going to be quite a big uh, piece of work and I probably 
Well, I'm going to do it. Let's um, see what saplings I've got. So on me, I have birch. We're going to use birch for now. Um, did I? No, I didn't put it down anywhere. So let's put the crafting bench down and grab some birch wood. With the birch wood, we're going to make some birch stairs. Yay. Okay, so we come in here. So we got one, two, three. So we've got three along. One, two, three. So that's the center for this one. And we want to surround that with these. Actually, I thought the better way I can do this. So we're actually just going to have the solid blocks, I think. I think that would probably look better in the end. So we just have these blocks all around it. And we'll put the. I didn't actually grab any saplings. So I want two saplings. So one there. Okay. So we're going to have little displays like this for each um, for each plant. So then we're going to have a gap here. Go there, 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 there. We'll do the same thing. Grab one set of you. Go boop, 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 boop. Fill that in. Grab a quick bite of wheat. So now you can easily see this birch. Uh, we come out to here. Dig that out. And then we can fill this back in like that. Okay, so then we'll do that all the way along here. So if I did this um just this wide, there would be here forever. Then we'll go one along here. So this doing it like this will give us lots of room to do it in sections. Okay. So that will be the birch section. Then we can keep going further, like so. And then we could do, say, the rubber section or something like that. And um, we could just keep going like that. I plan to put uh, flowers and stuff in here later as well to give it um, a bit of a more natural sort of botanic setup. Uh, I need to figure out a lighting as well. And I may use the Zycorium farm blocks to put under these trees because that way you'll have a better um, they grow quicker is basically what they do so I might look into putting some of them under there but this is going to be a big project I'm going to do a lot of it off camera um, building the roads and all that so let's see what other ones we've got with us we got okay we don't have any saplings with us so I think can you make rubber wood sap wood? I think it just makes jungle wood, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use the rubber wood for that. And we'll grab two saplings. Whoops. Just wanna go like that. So we come let's see. One out, one out. So we come to there. Fill that in. Okay. So the rubber tree will go there. If I place these sideways. There you go, we've got a rubber tree, we'll do the same here. Just light clicks, damn it. <laughs> okay. So for the most part I'm gonna use the um wooden logs uh planks, sorry not the logs. Use planks instead of logs because they give a idea of what you'll get once you craft it. Whereas obviously you'll be able to see what you're getting from the other ones. Right, so let's grab the rest of these bricks. So this is going to be a big project. I'm going to try and house it mostly in glass so people can see where everything is from the outside. And hopefully I'll be able to sort it into sections. Um, I'm not going to do any tree breeding here. That's all going to be back at the main base with the bees. And the reason is I don't want people coming here expecting... Well, I don't want people coming here going to say over here trying to get birch and then the saplings dropping I don't know lime or something so I'm gonna do a lot of work on this off camera um, next episode will probably come back after I've done a bit and we'll see where the process is I might change these paths but for now they're good and then I'll put some storage here or something some chests or a feature um, like I said it's all a work in progress I'm gonna have to take down this hill but yeah, I think I'm far enough away that it will end up being quite big without intruding on anyone. And yeah, so I hope you like the idea. 
be sure to let me know if you do. And let's add a quick sign to finish the episode, I think. There you go, signs. Okay, so just here we put um, future site of Benito's Tree Emporium. There we go. And I realized I put site wrong. <laughs> I can't be bothered to fix that. Um, PS. No, not GPS. PS. I know I wrote site wrong. There we go. <laughs> Instead of just fixing, I write a whole new sign. But yeah, um, I'll leave that there. Finish deforesting here. And. Um, just do some expansion, get the saplings over here, get some of this more um, lime wood. Because I think it looks quite good, even if it is quite low res compared to everything else. I quite like it. It'll be uh, quite good for just a, whoops, just a build model. So as always, thanks for watching. And uh, any comments or questions, leave them down below or send me a tweet on Twitter, on Twitter if you want to get me there. But I will see you all next time. Toodles.